<laughs> Today, we are visiting what is quite possibly the greatest restaurant in all of Dizzy Springs. Actually, I think most people think this because it's definitely the most popular. Today, we're a boathouse. If you are not aware of what Boathouse is, it is here on Disney property at Disney Springs, and it's a place that's like right next to where the car boats go into the water. This restaurant is themed in a nautical way, and honestly is probably one of the coolest spots in all of this side of Disney Springs, other than T-Rex Cafe, but that one's kind of a little kitschy, I think. Isabel and I have been here at least probably like what? 13, 14 times at this point. This is one of our favorite spots and it's a hard reservation to get. So let's head inside and we'll show you exactly what we're getting. But first, I want to introduce you to some friends. Hi, I'm Emily. Um, on Thread, I'm known as DSN My Emily. <laughs> Obviously, you could tell we filmed this really recently because as of last night, Thread is now a thing, okay? Uh, Casey, what is your thread? Hi, my name is Casey, and I don't have it because it scares me right now. And I'm, I'm just going to give it a week. I'll see what happens. It's fine. Also, our friend Brady is not with us today, but Casey, you want to say hi to Brady? But I'm not Brady. Whatever you want to say. McDonald's is removing Grimace. I don't, I don't <laughs> say that. Say your name. Say who you are. McDonald's. Okay, you, don't, you, you don't get an intro. We have been seated here at Boathouse, and let me say, Isabel and I have been here at least, what? 13 times at this point, correct? Yes. Um, and we order the same exact thing every time. Uh, I would go through and tell you, but uh, this menu has not been touched. Actually, I keep, I'm lying. I keep touching it, thinking like instinctively being like, oh, I guess I'm gonna look at the menu. I don't need to look at the menu. Look at those sticky buns. Yeah, can you, can you lather up my buns for me? No? Okay. <laughs> so you know when you go to a concert and the opening band's kind of like, eh? Every single time at Boathouse, the opener is equally, if not slightly more killer than whatever the entree is, and that is these buns. These honey glazed, buttery buns. I love just shoving them in my mouth. They're the best. We're gonna give a first reactions and pretend like I've never had these buns before, even though we come here at least twice a month. Ready? I've never tried this before. Whoa, that's really good. That's amazing. Casey, have you tried these buns? Casey, let me know what you think of these buns, too. They're the best things ever. I just can't get over how good they are. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Casey, you just ordered the firecracker shrimp, which is like a, what is this, like a parsley breaded uh, spicy shrimp, correct? Yeah. Fun fact, there might be a very, very interesting reason why this is called the Firecracker Shrimp. What used to be here? Do you know in the old Disney Springs what used to be here? Casey, do you want to share? The Firecracker Shrimp is just a thing. Yeah, it is. I'm making up this fun fact, okay? Uh. This is totally made up. But Casey, what used to be in this exact... Firecracker Shrimp is just a dish. Stop, it's just a dish. You're ruining this. Dog. Firecracker Shrimp is named this because of the building that used to be here. Casey, would you like to share what the building was? Do you know? Did it have to do with the Avengers Club? No. This was the fireworks factory that used to be right here in this exact spot. What are you... Sh <laughs> stop. Please stop. <laughs> You're ruining this for me. In this specific area of Disney Springs, there used to be a place called Pleasure Island. There was multiple different clubs, restaurants, stuff like that. One of the restaurants that was here that was right next to the old Queen Mary, which is now Paddlefish, Stop. Can you stop ruining this for me? <laughs> stop. Was a place called the Fireworks Factory, and that stayed, that was in the spot where this is, and a little bit into where the dock is with the car boats and stuff like that. Really fun place. I have never been there before, but uh, yeah, there you go. There's the fun fact. It's definitely 100% true. It's true. Casey was just wrapping up his shrimp, his firecracker shrimp, and look at these sneaky little bastards. Look what they did. This is all freaking Fritos and croutons on the whole bot. It was it was overflowing. So I will say that, that's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. But am I the only one who gets like upset when like, like you order something and then like 
the bag of chips is like half full. Like that's, it's all air. That's kind of what they're doing. It's okay because it was a lot of shrimp anyway. Why would you be the Why only one who got upset when that happens? That's a universal thing. Say that again? Why would you be the only one that gets upset when that happens? That is a universal thing. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to get people to comment on the <laughs> comment section of this video. That's literally what I've tried. I'm fishing for comments right now, okay? You know that's how YouTube works. <laughs> Thank you. Our food just came. Three out of five of us got the sliders because it's the thing you should be getting. And I will show you them right here. These are filet mignon sliders. Um, I normally get three. Isabel sometimes gets three if she's hungry, but I've been fasting all day for this meal. Not really, I just forgot. Casey, what did you get? I can't remember what it's called, but it's like mac and cheese with andouille sausage. So it sounded good and I didn't want to be the fourth person to get sliders. I know normally if I'm here with other friends, they normally get the truffle fries, which is another option as well, but I just, I don't like cheese. That truffle is cheese, right? No. No? What is it? Mushrooms. Truffles or mushrooms? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Isabel, how is your slider? Very good. I will once again be pretending like I haven't had these before for the sake of YouTube. Uh, the bottom bun is really, really soggy, just as my bottom is normally at a day at Disney World. Oh my goodness, that's good. What? I'm, is, I'm disgusting? Let me, let me show you the inside of this, this. They used to have sliders at City Works that we did like a lot. They're more expensive than these and they don't serve them anymore. I think that's City Works admitting defeat. On this burger is garlic butter and a bun and uh, the meat, and that's it. It's very simple and it's very good. I said this probably in the thumbnail at the beginning of the video. This is probably the best food dish at all of Disney Springs. I'm sure you love watching me eat, but we will fast forward to when we are leaving the restaurant. So we'll see you in one second. We just wrapped up our dinner here at the Boathouse. Isabel, what did you think overall? I love it. It's amazing. So good. 10 out of 10 as always. Uh, we're kind of done pretending that this was our first trip to Boathouse. Um, <laughs> we will be back here all the time. Like I said at the beginning, it is a very hard reservation to get. So make sure if you want to go to Boathouse on your trip, you like plan it way ahead of time. Uh, and I don't know, it was good. We're going to go check out some merchandise right now. I think in World of Disney, maybe the pin spot. Thanks. To give some context as to what just happened, um, don't go behind somebody, whether they're filming or not, and like touch them and other stuff like that. Uh, yeah, just don't do that, don't do that. And we have made it to the world of Disney. There's one specific merchandise item that we are trying to find today. I will tell you exactly what it is. I think if you watch our videos, you could probably guess. That is right, we are yet again looking for the Mickey, I'm trying to do the peace sign, but I'm holding this. The peace sign merchandise. Do you know you know what this is? Yes, of course you know what this is because you've been watching all these videos. We are trying to find it. Um, Kristen did just find me a hat at Magic Kingdom today, so I already have that down, but I have to find her a sweatshirt, so we'll see. We are looking for the sweatshirt right now because Kristen found the hat, and we have found the shirt and the pants, but no hat or sweatshirt. So I doubt they would have them at a different location separated from the other merch. So unfortunately, I think it's a bust. I believe this is the third vlog in a row that we have found these pants. Let's count the other two. What are you looking for? This sweatshirt, it's in this collection with like the peace hand sign. Kristen, we're back again at the same exact rack of pants. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have what you're looking for. We're just here like five days ago. And we have found the shirt and the pants, but no hat or sweatshirt. Obviously, we'll let you know if we find it, but we're going to check out some of the other new merch as well. Isabel, what do you find most amusing? What What is that? Look at the pajamas. I think they're kind of cute. I think they'd be a little warm for Florida. Like, I don't think I could wear these to bed in this heat, but I think they're kind of cute. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, or maybe they're ugly, I don't know. More PJs or a matching set? Are these pajamas? I don't know if they're meant as, they're probably meant as pajamas, but these are more of a summery pajama and they're much cuter than the other pair too. It's like my favorite color, it's got Stitch. I just watched Lilo and Stitch. We're about a week and a half removed from the 626 day and they have a lot of Stitch merchandise as well. They have this cool looking bucket hat, which is a nice design. They have kids sweatshirts that are like 
the same. It's a weird material. That's weird. Um, obviously, we have some of the pride stitches left over and some of these whatever little things. What is this? At time of recording, it is July 6th, and they still have all of the Disney Pride merch out. Um, I don't see this staying out for too much longer, but it's good to see it's still here. Uh, I'm sure it'll be popping up at a discount at some point in the near future. So if that is something that you are looking for, keep an eye out, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be popping up. Next up, we are heading into the recently revamped Marketplace Co-op. When I say revamped, I mean one specific area, and that is the art gallery. Let me show you guys what's going on over here. It is the summer of Marvel here at Co-op. Now this was the like art gallery section, now it's switching over to Marvel merchandise? Apparently this is display only. That was actually the one thing I was here for was Iron Man's suit. I was hoping that they would have my size, but it looks like this is probably a medium. But yes, there is a lot of Marvel merchandise here from everything from Black Panther to stuff from the new Spider-Man movie, the Spider-Verse. If you're looking for anything like this, there's actually honestly a wide, wide variety of different merchandise they have here, especially for all the Black Panther stuff. It's not just t-shirts and sweatshirts and bucket hats. Um, this is cool. Should we get one of these Spider-Man harnesses for one of our dogs? Just kidding, I don't think we can because none of them are gonna fit because they're between a small and a double XL. Uh, nowhere in between. On top of Marvel, um, this area, I don't remember what was here before, but now it's like a Tommy Hilfiger Disney collaboration area. And then this area, it's got like some of the same stuff, but the area physically looks different. And now it's got, I don't know, I kind of dig the vibes. Oh, the ceiling's leaking. Never mind. Vibes off. <laughs> Looks like Mickey had a trip to Home Goods. There is brand new everything in here. It smells like fresh paint, and the ceiling is only leaking a little bit. Something Casey noticed about this new area of the co-op is that there are hidden characters. Do you see one? I see one. Also the bird from Pocahontas. Above this doorway are some of the cats from the Arista cats, crats, whatever it's called, I think. Last but not least, obviously, are Cogsworth and Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. That's so cool. And a quote from my favorite Walt Disney Company character, Martin Luther King, I've got a dream. I know it's I have a dream, but nothing screams white suburban Disney loving mom more than Martin Luther King, because that's exactly what the audience for this store is exactly. And I'm glad to see it represented here. It's it's great. In all seriousness, I actually do really like that they have incorporated these new hidden Disney characters that aren't just a mouse with, you know, two ears and a head. It's cool. It's something different. And I hope they incorporate these elsewhere around Disney World as well. We're headed to Pin Traders, and I think this might be one of our last stops. Here at the Pin Traders, Emily said there's some new Epcot pins. Let's see if we can find them. Isabel, what are you freaking out about? I'm freaking out about Hocus Pocus and Stitch. Oh, and they got Haunted Mansion back there too. In this glass case, we look to have, I think, almost the full lineup of the brand new pins here, including the Hocus Pocus one, which is a very hard angle to get. There we go, we can see it now. We have a bunch of different 626 ones, as well as a Brother Bear pin. Look at it! And then all these little clapper boards from like 90s movies, cartoons, those are nice. As well as the brand new Figment pin, which is an oversized one. I think it's pretty expensive. It's probably close to $50. But what I'm most excited for is the Wally -E 15th anniversary pins. It's a mystery box. I don't know if we're gonna be getting it, but I do not think our For the Love of Logging YouTube channel is aware of how much of a fan of Lilo and Stitch we are. Specifically, Lilo, let me show you this video real quick before Isabel does this unboxing of these mystery pins that she just got. The Walt Disney Company doesn't consider Lilo to be a Disney princess, and honestly, that sucks. With the release of Lilo and Stitch, Disney Animation chose to tell a story that needed to be told. One that directly shows the real-life struggles of a lower-income family without using fairy tales or metaphors. A young girl raised by her older sister, struggling to make friends, and threats from a government agency to remove her from her household. Talk about an empowering tale of a female lead overcoming the odds. Princess to a casual Disney fan might be defined by royalty and royalty alone. But if royalty was a part of it, Mulan, whose film predates Lilo and Stitch, would have to be excluded from this elite group as well. Look at Beauty and the Beast and Hunchback of Notre Dame. 
two films that were released in the 90s, and tell me which has a more lasting legacy within the Disney fandom. Re-releases, merchandising, Disney parks meet and greets, even prime placement on streaming platforms. The Disney princess treatment is a huge part in what makes these stories last for generations. Why do I even feel the need to bring this up? Because I have yet to install Adblocker and keep getting this ad for Masterclass while I'm trying to listen to the soundtrack of Lilo and Stitch. You want me to talk about when I come home at night and my son's asked me what I did today? And I actually say, well, I had a meeting to talk about you know, what are the core attributes of a Disney princess. One of the most important things for us is show young women who are empowered. It's vital for us to tell stories that better reflect the world that we're doing business in. Okay, ready? Yes. <gasps> These are big. Look at him. This is a little hula outfit. These are big. Normally your mystery pins can be pretty tiny, so this is a good, it's good normally deal. Normally a ripoff. Yeah, this is a good deal. <laughs> no worries, guys. Oh my God, they put cardboard around it, so you couldn't like feel it. Oh, that might be the rare one. No, it, <gasps> this is huge. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, it is. Here. Okay, here's another one. Ready? <laughs> Laundry stitch. Nope. Hey. Santa. No duplicates. What's your favorite? My favorite? Um, I think it might be laundry. I'm a little disappointed that one of the stitches we got was not the stitch that was chasing the airplane flying between giant buildings that they took out of the Lilo and Stitch movie because of 9-11. Do you know about that? Yes. Everybody knows about that? Do you know about that? Do you know about that? This is actually a fun fact. They had to edit Stitch before it, it's not fun. No, it is not a fun fact. Okay, don't, a very serious fact. Let me correct myself. It is very interesting that they had to change the movie. They were almost complete with production. I don't know if they delayed it or not, or this was a DVD release that they changed, whatever. But the, the movie came out in 2002. They had to edit this exact scene that I'm gonna pull from YouTube. The scene in question is this exact scene where Stitch and crew hijack a 747 type airplane to save Lilo. Now, obviously hijacking a plane like this in the year 2001, 2002 is probably something that Disney was wanting to edit out of the film itself. How the rest of the scene panned out? Well, this airplane that was driven by Stitch and the rest of the crew drove through a downtown area of Honolulu and destroyed some buildings. I think this is all self-explanatory why this was not included. It's an interesting fun fact. It's existed on YouTube for a very long time. I don't know where it came from, but it's it's weird. And obviously it's good that they didn't include this. I think that's a given as well. Anyways, let's head back home. Hi! Hi, babies! Hi, Maya. Come on, let's go inside. Come on, let's go inside. Come here. Oh, you peed. Oh no, she slipped in her pee. No! So I do want to take a second to address earlier in the video. Um, if you ever happen to see somebody vlogging or just being in a park or anything like that, whatever they're doing, don't walk up to them and like grab them or anything like that. Just, just, just don't. If you meet me in public, that's great. Be nice, say hi. I don't like hugs, don't touch me. Uh, I don't think that's rude. Is it rude? I don't think it's rude. I just, I'm not, I'm not, I barely hug my wife. So, strangers are, yeah, that happens. So, that's all, that's all, I don't know. I'm trying to be approachable, please don't take me as a jerk. I just, I'm not, I'm not a touchy person. I'll be nice, I'm very nice in person. Trust me. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching today. I really appreciate everybody who's checked out this channel so far. Callie, come on, you are not paying attention. We're doing the outro, okay? Yeah, there's other dogs in the neighborhood, I'm sorry. Thank you very, very much for watching. We'll see you guys real, real soon. Let us know what you thought in the comments. Okay, how cute is she? Ha <laughs> ha!